Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Heath and I'm here to do a read aloud with you today. And today I'm going to do a fun read aloud with you. It's kind of like fun Friday read aloud. And I want to read one of my favorite authors. His name is Mo Willems. He does the pigeon books and the elephant and piggy books. And he also wrote this book. This one's called Leonardo the Terrible Monster. And at the top it says your pal Mo Willems presents Leonardo the Terrible Monster. And look, top of his head. He's got little horns and blue eyes. And his eyes, I don't know if he looks terrible. Let's find out about Leonardo, the terrible monster. Title page, Leonardo, the terrible monster. Here we go. Leonardo was a terrible monster. Don't you think he kind of looks sad though? I think he does. He couldn't scare anyone. Well, so that makes me think, are they saying he's a terrible monster because he's not good at being a monster? Not because he's terrible and scary. It's because he's terrible. He's not good at it. He couldn't scare anyone. Look at these guys. They're like, oh, just look at him. He's so cute. You're not very scary. He has a blue tongue. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. 1,642 teeth. At the bottom, there's this little star thing right here. And it means to look at the bottom in this tiny little print. It says, note, not all teeth are shown. Ha ha ha. So not all 1,642 teeth are shown right here. And look, he, has in, he even has some on top of his head. Well, that's kind of scary looking, don't you think? So he didn't have teeth like that. He wasn't big like Eleanor. So obviously Eleanor is quite a large monster. Look at her big legs. And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. Wow, Hector is kind of weird. He has three eyes, looks like three mouths maybe, or at least three sets of teeth. He has like one weird tail leg, a couple arms. Yeah, he's pretty weird looking. Sorry, Hector, you're kind of weird looking. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary. Look at him making all his scary faces. He even put a bag mask on to try to be scarier, but he just wasn't. And oh, there he is, feeling sad. This makes me think about the front cover when he looked sad. One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world, dot, 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 and scare the tuna salad out of him. Oh, so he's gonna find this kid who's easily scared and scare the tuna salad out of him. All right, okay, so he has a plan. Leonardo researched, which means he's reading books and getting information, trying to get information until he found the perfect candidate. So he's looking for someone who's a scaredy kid, does not like monsters. He's trying to find someone good. So he found the perfect candidate. Here he is, Sam. He kind of looks like a scaredy kid, don't you think? He looks like he's scared already. So he's a kid who looks scared of everything and his name is Sam. Leonardo snuck up on the poor unsuspecting boy. So he's sneaking up on him. He's sitting right there. Grrr, blackle, blackle. And the monster gave it all he had. Look at, do you think the boy is scared? Looks like he could be. I don't know. Until the little boy cried. Oh dear. He cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo. I did it. I finally scared the tuna salad out of someone. Ha <laughs> ha. He looks pretty happy about it. 
and I'm going to take a quick pause and stand up because my lights went out again. My lights like to go out if I sit at my seat too long. Sorry, friends. Thanks for waiting for me. Got a lot of problems with recording read alouds. So he is so excited that he scared the tuna salad out of Sam because he's crying now, right? He scared him. Scared him good. No, you didn't, snap Sam. So he's saying you didn't scare me. Oh yeah, replied Le Leonardo. Then why are you crying? Hmm. Oh my, look at all the words on this page. They're all across the page. I'm gonna read them, ready? My big mean brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I was still playing with it. And then he broke it on purpose and it was my favorite toy. And I tried to fix it, but I couldn't. And I got so mad, I kicked the table and I stubbed my toe on the same foot that I hurt last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got soap in my eyes trying to wash out the bird poo in my brother's cockatoo perped up, pooped on my head and I don't have any friends and my tummy hurts. Oh my gosh. So this boy is crying about a lot of things. Sounds like his toy got taken away by his brother. He hurt his toe that he already hurt on the bathtub. He had bird poop in his head at one point. He's just having a rough time. And that's why he's crying. Not because Leonardo scared him. He has lots of other things going on, doesn't he? Oh my. Well, look at Leonardo. He's like, well, I didn't realize you had so many things happening in your life. Poor Sam. <gasps> That's why. Huh. Look at how he's feeling. Then Leonardo made a very big decision. What's he going to decide, guys? It's okay. Oh my goodness. Look at he's hugging Sam. What a great monster. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful decision. I love this Leonardo. Look at him. They're holding hands now. Sam looks like he's happy again. Oh, and look at the monster's smile. That is awesome. But that meant, didn't mean he couldn't try to scare his friend every now and then. Boo! Ha! Woo! I think you got him, don't you? So, they're friends now. And he's saying, well, I can scare him every once in a while just for fun, right? And now he's chasing after him. Uh -huh, I'm going to get you. Silly monster. Trying to scare me. And that's the end. Here's the back. There's our Leonardo the Terrible Monster. So I'm thinking about friendships in this one. Because the monster made friends with Sam in the end. He made that big decision to stop trying to scare him and become a wonderful friend to him. So my question to you is thinking about that friendship that they made. Have you ever done that? Have you ever made friends with somebody? Maybe you weren't nice to them in the beginning or maybe they were having a bad day and you came up to them and decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make a really big decision and be this person's friend today. Have you ever done that before? Tell me a story about that. Tell me how you have become friends with somebody maybe that you weren't friends with before or maybe that was having a bad day. What did you do? Tell me about that. I would love to know. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.